welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new i'm kitty and i'm here with my kitty piper she's right next to me she's here quite often but i've never mentioned it i thought i would mention it today since we're going to be building an apartment perfect for an animal lover if you guys can't tell i cannot wait for sims 4 cats and dogs like it's just it was announced so long ago it feels like and it's still almost a month well probably like bit over 20 days until it's out and I cannot wait. I just want to have pets in my game. I want to have all the new build and buy items, all the new cast items. I want to be building apartments and houses and cat cafes that are perfect for Sims and their pets and I'm super excited. So today we're going to be building an apartment before we get cats and dogs that is meant for an animal lover. This is a more like well, they definitely love all animals, but they have a lot of reptiles because those are the only animals that we have in the game right now that you can kind of have as pets. You can't interact with them, but I think they came from, or some of them are already in the game, but some of them came from the outdoors retreat, the like bug ones, because there's a lot of butterflies in here as well. You're going to see, but <laughs> um, that's what you can have. And you can kind of capture them from the wild and they are in this little tank or whatever and it's just, it's just like a display item but the bugs and the frogs inside there they do move like a little bit so I thought they would just have a bunch of them they are these people have gone crazy and they have got probably like 20 or 30 reptiles which I don't know probably a little bit ex excessive probably because when I was building that room they have a room for their animals yes they do when I was building that room I went a little bit crazy because there was just so much space and I was like well why not put this one and this one and this one and in the end they end up having so many tanks or terrariums or aquariums or whatever they are full of animals so I thought that was a bit of fun. I would say this was a little bit inspired by this YouTuber that I've been watching recently. Her name is Taylor Nicole Dean and she has a bunch of animals. She has so many and a lot of them are reptiles or fish. So I love watching her channels. She's so funny. So <laughs> go check her out if you like animals. But I have been watching her a lot and then I decided to build this apartment. I have done a pet uh, I think mean, it was an animal lover dorm room before so I have used this idea before but that was just a dorm room and now we're doing a full-on apartment this is meant for I don't really know who this is meant for at first I was thinking like two girls they're both kind of like not teens but like really early maybe like early 20s so but then the rooms turn out to be quite childish at least one of them then I started thinking maybe it would be perfect for like the big sister challenge although I don't know if there's rules on how much money you can have but it would be like a big sister and a child and then I was thinking maybe a mother and a child I don't really know but one of the rooms is definitely more for a child it could be 14 or a young girl whatever but it has like some child clutter in it and the other one is also kind of young looking but it could be for the parents as well you can have whatever you want in here but there is two bedrooms in this only one bathroom this is the apartment that Miko darling and what's his name holy crap uh it starts with an a oh my god I cannot remember well you know the, the guy who lives with them I forgot his name that's horrible I have such a good name memory how am I forgting I'm gonna remember at some point of this video and then I'm just gonna yell out his name randomly <laughs> But they live in this apartment, so if you want to live here, you're going to have to move them out of here to somewhere else next door or something. I think the apartment next to this one is empty, I believe. So, but I really wanted to build in this one because it's a really good size. The downstairs is kind of small, and then the upstairs fits two or three bedrooms perfectly. And then there's a balcony as well, which was okay. I don't really have any plans for it, but I put some like little outdoor furniture out there. I think it turned out cute, but I love this kitchen. This kitchen is one of my favorites ever. I love building colorful homes because I don't know my styles that I really really love is like wise and modern and then this which is like really colorful and bohemian this isn't that bohemian but I really love the bohemian style as well which usually can be quite colorful but this style is just super super cute and we use so much stuff from parenthood so same as well parenthood game pack which is an amazing game pack it has amazing stuff so these counters are from there the fridge and the stove and is this table from there no that table is from the bowling night stuff pack but those chairs are from there just a lot of stuff, the wallpaper, so it's definitely using a lot of Parenthood. Even these couches are from the Parenthood game pack, but I think the kitchen turned out so fun and colorful and there's like little bunny statues and like little rooster statues around here. I just use everything that we have in the game right now that has like either like an animal pattern on it or it is an animal statue or something or stuffed animals. There's a bunch of them in this apartment, like actual like plushies 
that kind of stuffed animals. Not like if you know that people sometimes it's really really not nice, but they stuff real animals and then they like use them as decoration or something. I don't know. It's horrible. Don't agree with that at all. So all these animals are either statues or they're plushies or you could even pretend that they are real animals. Like this giraffe right here is real, right? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. But this is a little living room area down here. I think this whole area turned out so nice. I really like the layout. This is pretty much the layout the apartment already had because there aren't that many places to put those stairs in. So I just kept them in the same place. And then you just have a TV here, two couches, lots of like surface areas, some plants in here, and these curtains from, I think these are, are these base game curtains now? I feel like they were added with when Toddlers came out for free, so I think they are base game curtains. And then upstairs are two bedrooms, then there is a bathroom, and then there is the animal room, which we're going to do last, which is a really fun room. <laughs> it's interesting. I didn't think people would have animal rooms, but I mean, if you're crazy with your pets and you have so many, especially if they're like reptiles or fish, you're going to need some area to like keep all their tanks and like aquariums in. So you might as well have a room full of them and it's not like they come out of their cages or terrariums that often or like they would they look like they would all come out at once and like start some huge fight or something so I think it would be kind of cool to have their own room that is quiet they can chill there do whatever as long as they all like are okay staying in the same room I don't really know anything about reptiles because I have never owned a reptile I have had oh my god I've never talked about this we've had we've had two cats when I was young those were our first first pets they actually we lived in like this really peaceful area in like uh, our own house but they there was a house a few houses away that had like elderly people living in it like like a couple elderly couple and they really liked our cats and our cats really liked them and our cats would always like go over there and if they didn't know where our cats were they would always be over there and they would feed them and everything and it was kind of cute and I was really young at this point and when then 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 we got a dog which is our family dog she's still with us I love her so much um we got her and I don't know if there was something that the cats didn't really get on with her that well I don't really remember because I was so young but basically when we moved out of the house we left the cats the two cats with the elderly couple since the cats love them they love the cats and I don't know I wasn't that I wasn't that attached to the cats because I was really young and I was more attached to the dog or something. Honestly, I don't remember that well. Maybe why don't I even go to the dog afterwards? I don't know, but for some reason we loved the cats, but those were our first pets. We had those and then we got our dog. Then we also had a bunny, which was my sister's bunny. But I, again, we gave her away for some reason. Again, I was really young. I don't know if I agree with my parents getting us these pets that then we ended up giving away because we didn't care of them. I mean, take care of them. I don't really know. Honestly, I don't remember. But I mean, they had a good home. And then they moved on to better homes. It's not like they died or anything. <laughs> I don't know. But we had a bunny. And then we also had a horse. And then we've had, well, technically it was a pony. But it was almost tall enough to be a horse. So two horses we've had. And now we have three cats, me and my boyfriend. We have we have three cats. So yeah, those are all the pets that we had. I think, I don't think, oh, we have had fish at some point when I was young again. We had a fish tank, but again, no idea what happened to that. That was so long ago, but I've never owned any reptiles. I don't think I would be that interested in having a reptile. It's just not really my thing. I like fluffy, <laughs> fluffy animals. That sounds really vain, but I love cats. They're so cute. Maybe one day I would like another dog, maybe like Pomeranian or something. And I kind of want a hedgehog. That's really cute. I want a chinchilla. I love animals. I want more horses. We don't have any horses right now. It's been a while. It's been like over eight years since we had the horses, but I really want to get horses again or ponies or whatever. I have kids. I wish like my kids could grow up like among among <laughs> among like animals and ponies and horse riding I think that'd be cool anyway that is completely unrelated to this build I don't know I just I don't know what to talk about in these builds so that that was something we talked about today so this is the main bedroom like the uh, it's not a master suite that sounds so weird this is not this is just the main bedroom the bigger one and as you can see it is kind of more designed for a younger person like this doesn't look like a room for your parents 
or for your mom, but it could be, but it's really cute. It has yellow, green, and brown as the main color schemes. You have a computer desk in here, this huge bookshelf, and all of these fairy lights going across the room as well. They're really, really cute. They're from the toddler stuff pack. And then we're using that really retro wallpaper in here, which is from base game, which I rarely use because it's kind of hideous. But I kind of went with this build. I was like, okay, let's just go with it because I did not know what other wallpaper to use. I tried a bunch of them, but we ended up going with this one. And then now we're starting to bring out the animals. <laughs> we put a fishbowl down downstairs one of the side tables there is a little fishbowl but in here you have a little butterfly on the computer desk in that little tank uh and by the way these are all like their pets they didn't like collect these to have a collection of butterflies or something they're their pets they love all these animals <laughs> like they take super good care of them and they have named every single one of them that is what i was thinking so we have a butterfly here and then we have one frog in that room as well and then between these two bedrooms you have this uh bathroom which is kind of small and this shape is really really awkward but whatever we just went with it and i forgot to test if it works because it is kind of tight in there i'm gonna test it if i remember sorry if it doesn't work but i'm gonna test it and then change it around if it doesn't work but i think it should work i think there is enough space for your seam to walk around the toilet which is gonna be next to the door to get to the sink and then get to the shower they only use that big shower from one end so it doesn't matter if there's items in front of the other end and then the other bedroom is on the right i realize there's no window in that bedroom there's not that many great windows in this room and there's a lot of windows in the reptile room but or in the animal room but in the last bedroom there's no window i'm really sorry about that because you guys always like or pretty often point out that you should never have a bedroom without a window which which is a pretty good point that it's not a very nice room for you to have but you can't add windows to already rebuild apartments in San Marcino so sorry about that but this is gonna be the more kitty room we're gonna go for like light yellow as the color scheme and white there's some white in this room there's not that much white anywhere else in this apartment but I wanted to bring it in here I thought it went really well with the yellow and then you're gonna have a little study desk in here which is from parenthood and then a parenthood dresser and I think there might be an animal in here as well I forget maybe a little frog I don't know I built this today and I already forgot but this rug is from I think, is that from Fitness Stuff Pack? Probably. And that's kind of what gave the color scheme for this room because I love that rug so much. I wanted to use it downstairs, but I brought it up into this room and it was kind of like cute pastel colors and perfect for like a girl's room. So I really, really like that. And I kind of cut off me making that little hallway in the middle. There's not much there. There's like a little wall decals there and a plant. And then there's just doors going to all these different rooms. So <laughs> it's just a little hallway. There's no use for it. Oh yeah, we did add a little frog there, I think whatever frog that was like a tiger frog or something already for guides <laughs> he's something like that and then the last room is gonna be the reptile room it's gonna have two aquariums which i don't know they might be from spotty i forgot which ones i used oh, i forget where they're from pretty much i think we got even maybe two different fish tanks from spotty which is very interesting because they're not really something you would have in spa but whatever and then i made like a makeshift terrarium which was a lot of fun i used one of these display items that is like a it's like a glass item it kind of looks like a terrarium but you can't just pick up a frog and put it in there which would be really cool if it could just roam around in there but i put three of these different frog tanks in there just imagine that it is like a terrarium and then i put some like flowers from the outside category in there as well to make it look like I don't know a terrarium like again I've never owned a terrarium it looks kind of funny but it was a lot of fun I wanted to try to make something that looks like a real terrarium and that's what that's what I came up with and then we have these two huge display items full of the little tanks of the bugs in them and some frogs on there as well but you got like mantis in there you got like so many different butterflies so i forgot which all ones you have but you have like the monarch butterfly and some blue some butterfly i don't know what they call it but basically that's what you got in there then you've got a ladybug which is funny you got some fireflies you got dragonflies and then you got something that is called a dragon dragonfly and it is this huge purple thing and it's like huge and i'm like what the heck is that no clue but i found it in the diva category and i was like holy heck i need to use this <laughs> it sounds really cool dragon dragonfly like what the heck it did look like a dragon so i guess that's what it is and here is me making the <laughs> makeshift terrarium i mean 
yeah, it works, okay? I mean, it's a little bit weird that they're inside their own terrariums, inside a big terrarium, but whatever, just imagine that they are not. Or we're also gonna have a couch in here, so if you take your pets out of their terrariums, like, you can't really do that in The Sims, but if you could, you could like sit on the couch and like hold them or have them watch them climb around everywhere or whatever it is that they do. We don't have any snakes, by the way. That's interesting. I don't think you can capture snakes. I thought, I think there are some snakes that sometimes go around in the nature in The Sims. I don't remember, but there are no snake tanks. And then I added this little cabinet here because I wanted to have something that looked like it could hold all, all the pet's food in it. So yeah. That is pretty much it. And then the balcony is gonna have some yoga mats and some just some seating basically. But I am gonna share another piece of fan art in today's video. Again, from my fan art email, which is down there in the description. This one comes from JD. Uh, it's a drawing of Emma Harper from my Who Killed Emma Harper series, which was a long time ago. Well, not that long, but a few months ago. Sorry that this is I'm sharing this so late. But if you haven't checked that series out, if you are new, definitely go check that out. It was a machinima series about a murder mystery emma harper is dead but who did it that was the question so yeah, i even made a full video of all the episodes together so that is also on my channel if you want to check that out but thank you so much Janie, for sending that over that is really cute and so well done so thank you again i'm so glad you enjoyed the series because that took a lot of work but it was a lot of fun and i might do something like that again i don't really know but i do want to do more machinimas because they are so much fun. Anyways, we are just finishing off with the balcony now. If you want to download this, I'm going to put it on the gallery. It's going to be in two parts, downstairs and upstairs separately because you can't put them together. That is how the gallery works with apartments. You have to upload them as rooms, but downstairs is one room and upstairs is one room. And this is in the 701 Zen view, which is where Miko, Darling and dang it, I still don't remember his name. Oh no, starts with an A, I know that much. <laughs> Anyways, that is where you can find it. Did I say my username? It's SimmerKittenYT or under the hashtag SimmerKitten. That is where it is. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And leave your suggestions down below for any future videos, builds, cast videos, challenges, machinimas, let's plays, so whatever it is, I'm always listening. <laughs> Anyways, hope you are having a great day. Thanks again for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.